It is taking going green to a higher level, quite literally. These 26 aeroponic towers are the latest addition to O'Hare International Airport's sustainability program, a first-of-its-kind urban garden located between terminals 2 and 3. Hydroponics and aeroponics, mostly hydroponics, have been familiar with in the past. Um, it's been used in, uh, you know, across the world, but never, of course, at an airport. And it's really kind of taking um, shape and really coming along more and more with greater technology and the ability to, as you can see, grow these beautiful products behind us. What can you grow in the middle of one of the world's busiest airports? You name it, from habanero peppers to bib lettuce to edible flowers, all of them grown without a shovel full of soil. Seeds are first germinated in small cubes of nutrient-rich volcanic rock. Then they're transferred to these eight-foot-tall towers. There's a reservoir, a 20-gallon reservoir, and they're set to a timer, so it waters for 15 minutes, and then it shuts off for 30 minutes, waters for 15 minutes, and the water's all recycled within the system. And because they're not using soil, the growing cycle is much quicker. That means they can get much more production out of the crops they have. Oh, we have over 1,100 planting spots in here, and, that's in, and each one of those planting spots is ready to harvest within four weeks. That's so, all it takes? So in a year... Uh, that's that's uh, 13 different crops. Once it's harvested, the produce is used steps away in airport restaurants like Wicker Park Seafood and Sushi. It is true that growing vegetables and herbs on the airport reduces the need for transportation, but it also delivers the freshest ingredients to our travelers and to our visitors. They are demanding fresh local produce. We are delivering fresh local produce. Fresh produce grown at O'Hare where travelers can sample it, bringing a whole new meaning to Taste of Chicago.